Greetings and welcome. This is Dr. B. D. Y. Sundar, Associate Professor, Mechanical Engineering Department, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. In this session, we will be learning about equilibrium of forces and conditions of equilibrium. The conditions which will make the body into equilibrium state are needed for solving the problems, the field problems. In the previous session, we have clearly discussed what a equilibrium state system looks like and how we are going to consider the equilibriums and the resultants, how they are going to be zero. If in a system, let us say, this is an object and there are number of forces acting, let us say F1, F2, F3 and so on. And even though these forces F1, F2 and F3 that are being acted, the object is at rest. That means the object is not deforming or it is not moving anywhere. Then we can say that under the action of these forces, under the action of these forces, the object is in equilibrium state. Object is in equilibrium state. For understanding this clearly, you can take the example of your dining table, where the dining table with respect to the surroundings is treated as stationary or we can say that it is at rest. And on the table, even though we are placing many number of objects like utensils or food items, anything, even though we are placing many number of objects, the dining table is not moving anywhere. The table is stationary. Even though we are placing five to six objects on the table, where the forces of weight, the weight which are acting as the forces on the table are acting, the object is not moving anywhere. So there will be limitations where the capability of the table uh, represents the forces. Even though number of forces are placed onto that table, the table is not moving anywhere. So we can say that the table is in equilibrium. The table is in equilibrium. Similar case. When the number of forces are acting on the object, the object is not moving anywhere. So we can treat it as the equilibrium state object or the object is said to be in equilibrium state under the action of forces. So for solvation purpose, for the number of problems, the application oriented problems, for solving the equilibrium state problems, we do need the resultant as zero. Why? Because we have already discussed that the resultant in an equilibrium state system is zero. All the forces that are being acting in the system will be equated to each other or we can say they are equivalent to each other. They will make the all the forces, they will make themselves as equivalent. So all the forces when summed up, the resultant will be zero. So for understanding this, or for solving this type of equilibrium system problems, we do need a three conditions. We will be seeing the three conditions where the three conditions are given like this. The algebraic sum of horizontal components of the forces must be zero. This can be understood by the composition or resolution of the forces which we have made. In the previous session in the previous topics we have discussed how to identify the resultant for the system of forces right so in that we have taken the resolution of the forces as the first step and then we have combined these forces for obtaining the end result but here in this case equilibrium case we have already discussed that the resultant will be zero so what will happen to the forces that are being acted obviously the sum of all the forces will be equal zero. Whereas, again, if at all the inclined forces that are being acted in the system, we need to consider only mutually perpendicular forces. So, as the first step, we will be considering all the horizontal forces that are being acted in the system and we will make all these forces the summation to zero. So, first we will be considering the algebraic sum of horizontal components of the forces as zero. 
and as the second step the algebraic sum of vertical component forces will be zero so any force that are being that is being acted in the system the inclined forces or vertical and horizontal forces all the horizontal and vertical forces will be considered as the summation as zero and third and finally the algebraic sum of moments of all the forces about any point in the plane must be zero that means if we are considering the moments in the equilibrium system then also all the moments that are caused by the forces the summation will be zero so in this way we can consider the equations as sigma fx is equal to 0 sigma fy is equal to 0 and sigma m is equal to 0 where sigma fx is the sum of the all horizontal component forces acting in the system and sigma fy is the sum of all the vertical component forces acting in the system and sigma m is the moments that are being acting or that are being applied by the forces that are acting in the system. So this is how the conditions of the equilibrium will be considered. These conditions can be clearly understood and how to apply these conditions in a problem solving will be understood in the case where we will be solving number of problems. So this concludes the session. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.